In this lesson, you will be learning a little bit about Claude Monet, the artist, and will learn to paint a picture in the style of Monet's The Thames Below Westminster. In our summer topic, we will be exploring London waterways. The Thames is one of the most famous waterways in the UK, and it was painted by Monet several times. Claude Monet was born in Paris in 1840, 180 years ago. He loved to draw from being a small boy and used to make extra money by drawing people. His style of work is known as Impressionism. This style was created by artists such as Monet, who started painting outside instead of in studios. These artists wanted to capture the moments in time and so they had to work very quickly using quick brush strokes. This is the painting, the Thames below Westminster, that we are going to be copying today. So because we're going to be painting on this, it might be a good idea to make yourself some thicker paper to draw on if you don't have any card. You can do this by gluing two or three pieces of paper together. This just means that your paper won't rip if it gets a bit wet. This is especially good if you will be using watercolour paint. Place the paper landscape so that the long side is facing towards you. So as you can see here, I'm drawing in the horizon line. It's not quite in the middle, it's sort of just below halfway down. Next I'm going to make a mark to show the middle of the horizon line. Then I can start to see the things around it and how much space they should take up. The first thing I can see near the horizon line is this boat here, so I'm going to draw this in lightly. For the boats, you can do a really simple, small round shape like this. So next I'm going to start sketching in the arches on the bridge. So you can see we already have the top of them from the horizon line. So you just need to draw in two lines at either side and then connect them with an arch shape. Next, I'm going to draw in the Houses of Parliament. Look at your picture and pause the video. Can you find the highest point? Carefully draw in the building, looking at the shapes and how they appear a little spiky at the top. So I'm drawing in the lines of the building and I'm being really careful to look back at the painting by Monet, just for reference of where things should go. The next thing is to sketch where the pier will go. You can see here that the pier is built of simple straight lines. Just roughly sketch these in as we will be painting them later. You can see here that Monet has drawn some people on top of the pier, so I'm going to copy this. You might notice that they look quite small and they don't have faces or any other details. This is because they are very far in the distance.
Next, I'm going to sketch in the stairs. To do this, you want to draw diagonal lines like this. They get a little wider each time. I'm just going to start drawing in some more boats now. So for the boats you can do very simple and small round shapes like this, with a little stick coming off. Because the boats are meant to be so far in the distance, it's like the people. Keep them small and remember that they don't need much detail. So don't worry if you don't have lots and lots of paints, because I'm going to show you how you can make lots of colours using just the three primary colours red, blue and yellow and if you have some white as well that would be great. So first off I'm going to show you how to mix blue and red to make a purple colour. So this purple came out a little bit too red so I'm going to add a tiny bit more blue into that to make a purple tone. Next we're going to mix red and yellow. Do you have any ideas what colour that will make? Well done if you guessed orange. Finally, I'm going to mix blue and yellow. Do you know what that will make? Blue and yellow makes green, so well done if you got that right. You can change the shades of these colours by adding more of one or another colour. Have a play about with this and see what kinds of shades you can make. It's amazing how many colours you can make using the primary colours. Explore what happens when you mix your secondary colours too. These are the colours that you made by mixing your primary colours. For example, you could try mixing the green and the purple that you made. You'll need this colour for your painting later. The first thing to do is to create your sky. You can be creative with this if you like. I chose some brighter colours for my sky as I wanted it to look a little happier and sunnier. You could choose darker colours or more vibrant colours depending on what kind of mood you would like your painting to have. Here I'm painting the Houses of Parliament. I started with a shade of brown that was a little bit too dark, so I found a lighter shade by adding a little bit of white to that. And here I've just started the pier with a darker shade of brown. So this is my favourite part, the water. The water in the Thames has movement and Monet really tried to show that with his style of painting and his quick brush strokes. Use lots of shades of light and dark colours to show the movement and shadows in the water and play about with your brush strokes to create different textures. Finally, I'm going to be painting in the final details of the painting. So this is the boats, the steps, and Westminster Bridge. And I'm just going to paint in the tree, doing little dabbing strokes here to create the texture and put in the little people. So here is how mine turned out. I'm really looking forward to seeing yours. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you all again soon.